What's up guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com and we have another Lightroom 4 Mixology tutorial for you guys for you Lightroom 4 preset system users. Now in this tutorial we're going to be going over the HDR black and white vivid landscape preset and we're going to talk about basically what situations we would use this preset. We're going to go over kind of some different examples of some before and afters as well as of course how to create this preset from scratch using the SR Lounge Lightroom 4 preset system. And it's only a few clicks like every mixology that we make. So let's get started. Alright, so let's select this and kind of show you guys the difference between the other black and white settings that we have. So I'm going to select the HDR black and white and what it's going to do is basically going to lift out all the shadows, pull down all the highlights and kind of balance out and tone map the image so we get a black and white image that just has a lot more tonal range. Now let's compare that to the soft portrait black and white. Now this is a softening setting but I want you guys just to focus on kind of just the tone range because in this standard black and white we actually don't have any uh, dynamic range boost in this preset. So when I select this basically our ground goes completely black. Now the standard black and white vivid landscape does have a little bit of, of dynamic range boost in it. So we'll see a little bit of a boost when we select that. And then when you select the HDR black and white, you're going to get a large boost with the uh, dynamic range. Now if you guys want to increase the dynamic range, you guys can always create additional presets and we're going to show you guys exactly how. But let's first go over kind of the different situations of when we would use this preset. Now the preset is essentially designed for pretty much just landscape images. Mainly when we want to do like uh, kind of black and white HDRs with portraits and stuff like that, we're kind of sticking with the grunge looks. Um, so mainly this HDR HDR black and white, the standard version, is really more for just kind of creating high dynamic range landscape images. So let's go through a few examples. So this is one of them and what we do from here is basically go down and we just make some base adjustments, maybe increase our brightness a bit, uh, maybe not that much. We'll go down to half a stop and then I might boost my contrast because again this is just designed for uh, general use. We do want to make subtle tweaks here and there based on a, kind of on an image per image basis. All right, that looks great. Now let's pull up our film strip. Let's go to another image. So another perfect example for this kind of a look would be this other image shot on uh, this, uh, whatever this lighthouse was. I forgot the name of this lighthouse. I always forget it. Anyway, this is another great example or another good candidate for the uh, HDR black and white. And you'll see kind of how it lifts up the tones compared to the standard black and white. So it just does a better job of pulling out kind of those shadows. Once again, I'm going to raise this by half a stop because it is a little bit on the underexposed side. And you know what, you could actually tweak that. I think it looks okay, uh, you know, a little bit on the darker side, or if you want to brighten it up, either way, it's kind of up to you. What also looks nice on these kind of images um, is, especially on black and whites, it's a little bit of vignetting. And I like to add a little bit of vignetting because it kind of, I don't know, I don't know if it mimics kind of the old film look or what it is, but it just kind of seems to work really, really well with black and white landscape images. So just an idea, you guys can add a little bit of vignetting if you like. Uh, for me, I'm going to add that vignetting and then I'm going to go to my basic and because we're just going to go up by a minor amount by 0 0.20, we're going to just dial it in manually right there. And that looks great. Let's go on to another image for our black and white. Let's actually, sorry, let's actually do a before and after so you guys can see the difference between these two. And let's do, we did this once before, let's do this one more time where we do a snapshot and let's create this uh, BNW HDR and let's do a reset version of this and compare it to the normal black and white conversion so you guys can see how big of a difference there is, standard BNW. Okay, so here is the black and white HDR conversion and here is the standard black and white conversion. So you can see how big of a difference we get in the details and the tones from, from this black and white HDR version. All right, let's go on now and let's jump to, you know, these images will actually look really good too as uh, this church image. Uh, and I know I said previously that I process a black and white. I think it'd look even better as a kind of a higher dynamic range black and white. So let's select that. And that looks awesome. I don't even need to actually do anything to it. I think it looks great from there. We get a really good look just with one click and we're done. Let's go on. Let's see what else we got. You know what I think would also look cool is this, uh, you know, the shot with the guys. I think these kind of shots, the manly man type shots, would look really good with this, even though I, I probably typically would go with the grunge look more so than the black and white look, uh, or the standard HDR black and white. I think this would still look great. So let's apply this, and then uh, let's do a little one-stop base adjustment to lighten it. And that looks great. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what else we got. We got anything else we want to do? Yeah, let's actually show you guys the difference between the 
we can show you guys the difference between the standard black and white versus the HDR black and white right here also in this image. So let's go back to our My Mixology. Let's apply this. Uh, let's see, HDR black and white. And I think we raised this one up by a half stop, I believe. Let's check out our setting over here. So, yep, it's up a half stop. So let's go over here and let's make a base adjustment by up uh, to take it up a half stop. Now let's just kind of compare the difference. All right, so basically what you're going to see between these two is just more detail in the shadows uh, on the HDR image, which is this image right here. Now, that may be something that you want or something that you don't want. I think in the case of this image, it probably actually looks better with the darker shadows in the, in the field, but it's really kind of up to you. But that gives you guys a good idea of how much more it lifts out the tones when compared to that standard black and white. All right, let's go ahead and actually create this preset now. Let's go select one of our previous images. Let's actually use this image right here. And uh, we'll reset it out, and we're going to create it from the ground up using the Lightroom 4 preset system. So once again, we bring in all our images into Lightroom with our standard import preset. And let's drop down and go to a heavy HDR base tone. We're going to go to detail, and we're going to enhance. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to detail. We're going to do a light boost on detail. We're going to also do a medium boost on contrast just to give it a tiny bit extra contrast. Blacks are fine where they're at. Saturation is not going to matter. We're going to, uh, we can or I, I would do maybe a little bit of noise reduction just to leave it on the light side, but we don't want to kill too much detail because, again, we're dealing with landscape images and vivid images versus, you know, kind of soft portrait look images. Doing the vignette is kind of up to you. I would leave it off just for your standard preset. Um, so we'll skip down to now our neutral curves. Or sorry, not on our neutral curves. Let's uh, close this. Let's go to our antique curves because we have a curve that's going to instantly black and white it and do everything for us, which is this neutral punch black and white. All right, so that's it. If we go up and we select the actual preset now, we shouldn't see any change because this should be identical. So let's select it, and yep, we don't see any change at all. So once again, if you guys do want to save that out, if you guys have the 1.1 update, it's already saved for you. It's the HDR black and white. But when saving new mixologies, always select everything with the exception of white balance, lens profile corrections, transform, chromatic aberration, and make sure exposure is set on a neutral image that's correctly exposed to begin with. Auto settings are turned off. We select our My Mixology folder and name it whatever you guys will with the number that you guys like. All right, we don't need to do that because we do have it saved already. So we're going to cancel out of there, and that is it, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this Mixology tutorial, and we'll see you guys with the next one.